okay welcome to another video what you're currently looking at right here is an oscillating panel it's practically forward reverse with a limit switch and two timers i'm going to explain to you the operation of the circuit so that you may have a clear understanding and then later on in the week maybe hopefully we can share the drawing so you have two contactors one is currently energized right now the ford contactor and then you have your two limit switches when you hit the limit switch it's supposed to cut the circuit like this and it's supposed to reverse there we go if you hit this limit switch it's supposed to stop the circuit again or de-energize the contactor and energize the other contactor de-energize the contactor that's running and energize the reverse contactor and vice versa it's a simple forward reverse circuit for the main circuit for the control however you need to be able to wire your two timers you're going to see what's going to happen right now when it leaves the limit switch, energizes this timer and then the reverse contactor goes in and if it hits the other limit switch, like I'm doing now, energizes the other timer and then takes in the reverse contactor. So this is why we're saying it's a simple forward reverse for the main circuit because the main circuit does not change, however the control circuit is the one that is changing and it can oscillate like this over and over and over again when we get and dive into the drawing for those who want to dive into the drawing you'll let me know your comment down below and then we can get into the drawing and just get into a deeper understanding of how is it working on paper so that we can get to this practical example that we're currently seeing right now um, the channel is going to be back up when I'll be posting more videos. All I would ask for you guys is to subscribe, comment, and like the post so that the channel can also grow and reach other artisans who are currently training and preparing for trade test.